the uh, journal book front. I'm putting black gesso on. And I'm doing different things. Um, I think I'm going to do different things to all of them. Um, I decided to do that. And I was at first going to thinking I'm going to make them, but um, too much time with the amount of people. And um, I decided to buy all the books, the journal books, um, the sketchbooks, and make them. Or at least decorate the color cover so you have you have a gift that is usable, and plus you have a pretty cover. So I'm just going to put black gesso on. Like I said, I wasn't sure I was going to video. And I'm never, I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but, well, obviously it'll be after you guys receive them, but, um, this is very thick just so I don't know why it's so thick and I'm going to read if I can check if I can add water to it. It's very thick. It is deco art just so, but I can't recall if it was always this thick or not. My brain... I can't remember pretty much anything. So I'm just trying to be very careful not to uh, make a mess on the inside and that kind of thing. So I just want to cover this up here in black gesso. I'm going to do the end too, but okay, I see the edge here needs to be covered. See, it just looks like it's soaking in, which the paint would do if I decide to paint. I'm actually, I'm going to paint. I know what I want to paint on this one. Um, just because I just recently done the painting and I really like it, so I'm going to play some more with that the design. But, um, very thick that's not usual I don't it's too thick I dip my water pink brush in some water here thin it out I'm just wetting my brush a bit it just seems so thick anyway working on that and I know it's coming along late, but the books weren't in. And then I only had a couple books in. And I'm like, what's going on? Who only orders a couple books at a time? Seriously, three books at a time, two books at a time? That's crazy. So I was really disappointed that they didn't order a box of books. And I couldn't just get them all at once. So I was quite disappointed with that. So this is the front and the back um, um whatever that's called, <laughs> whatever it's called, painted with the gesso. And I have my design all ready in my hand because I did do a project with it. And I fell in love with the design, so I'm going to share it with someone else. So I'm going to dry this up. You guys might recognize this design. I just really love it use it for one of my projects so I'm thinking I might leave this back cover part here in my mind I see something different on it so I'm wondering if I can mask and tape it without it wrecking the paint if I do wreck the gesso I'll just go over it but I'm just going to put a little bit of a, a masking tape and try not to touch it too much but that's it I'm just going to do that now you guys are going to recognize this. But this was one of my favorite um, designs. When I did Around the World Inspirations, it was a Russian um, traditional um, feel that I was going for. Because I was looking at the Google and I got this design for my little egg canvas. And uh, that's a little... So anyway, I decided I'm going to go with this. Design on there. Um, this one didn't turn out the greatest there. That's not too happy. 
So I'm just going to go with a little bit of that and I'll have to fix up some of the smudges I'm getting. So that's good. I'm going to dry in between here or with this one here. Oh, I'm going to have to fix some of that up I'm, since I'm not in a hurry with this project. I will look for my thinner. Mm, this is not, maybe not thin enough brush. Thinner brush and uh, just fix up with my gesso some of these pieces before I add a whole bunch of stuff. I kind of smudge and I'm not happy with that. Wet my brush a bit. So I'm just going to fix that up. Yeah, so I'm just going to go over a few spots here and fix it up. It just looks little on the messy, especially here where it kind of seeped through. So just kind of clean it up a bit. I think I put some um, blending um, stuff in there, um, blending medium. And that's probably why it was a little wet, wetter than normal. But I wanted, I know it takes so long to do this sometimes. And I didn't want to waste my paint again. So I kind of wanted to put, keep it a little bit wetter. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. But whatever, it's done. Now, so. It's all good. But I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video of this because I'm like, oh. But I guess it's good to know what I've done, have some videos on hand. And if you guys ever want to design your own covers, then you can. So what I had done next, I believe, was the... Um, little berries and so I'm just going to put this kind of berry-ish stuff so I'm going to kind of do my little berry-ish stuff I might have done too many there but hey There we go. So, so I love this design that I did on the egg um, canvas. And that's where I got the idea. When I was looking on Google, I was kind of like searching a particular style and I found it. I was happy. So, quick dry. I'm going to do my little yellow flowers this time. And I'm going to kind of just put them wherever. That did not work. Darn. Did that not work as well as I wanted it to? It's kind of smudging. It's because I put that thinner in there. I messed it up. That one's a little better. I 
Blop on, blop off. Let's see if we can get it to look decent here. Dropping my other paintbrush. There we go. I will fix it up with the um, gesso again, and I will fix it up with the uh, is too runny. Um, in between, the, I'll just draw some with the uh, Pasca pen. I couldn't think of the word. So I have a little bit of dampness on here. I'm just going to try to see where it comes off. Mm. Okay. Not coming off too well, but that's okay. So I'm gonna dry went around with the um, marker on the flowers, fix them up a bit, and hopefully that wasn't too crazy of a thing to do. I'm just gonna do my little red in the yellow flowers, red marks. I like to do. And I like to go in with some white and and then I'm going to go in with a, um, I didn't do my little white flowers yet. So one, two. I'm going to go five. Last time I did four petals and I was meant to do five. Kind of just like that. Just pushing down on my brush. Just like that. And I'm going to do a couple more. Let's see, last one off the side. And I'm going to do one here, I don't care. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's odd number. There we go. A lot of them this time. Why not? Okay, yeah, I got tons of stuff everywhere and I'm trying to semi keep it track. I'm going to make sure I wash my brushes. Got to keep that to the side. Um, I'm kind of trying to figure out what kind of front I want. Um, just, I got lots of little blingy things out, but I got the little tag and I got to put the the name of the person that this one's going to go to and I have an idea the first person oh, okay let's see here I think I got him in order on my list I've checked okay I did my is that going to show shadow probably okay I did my stamping out of the tag here. It's going to go in front of it. My first person on the list, I didn't even know who it was, is randomly going in the list. And I'm going to try to mail them all out at the same time anyway, but I got to let the 
this the, the, the paint settle not be sticky and all that kind of stuff if you mail things too fast sometimes you know it takes some time for it to cure and get all the moisture out so I've got the name tamped out tapped out under here for this book's owner, new owner, um, and I gotta slide this all down. I didn't want to break my glass or anything like that, so so I got the name down, and I'm gonna continue with my metallic lusters. I got the um, orange flicker on there. I'm gonna get the red, radiant red on here. I want to go with the. Uh, I could play around with it if I don't like it. I can keep rubbing and play around with it. I wanted to go with the colors that are in there in my project here for this particular painting. And I'm hoping, oh, I, I would have liked it to be perfect. Uh, so I'm going to probably, I'm going to grab a clean corner, buff it up a bit. I'm really going to rub on it to get it worn looking different look than I'm normally used to. It's going to get a worn look onto it. I like that worn look and I think I'm just going to grab a little bit see if ink will the um I, uh Archival ink will stick to the middle. I'm not sure. Just a little edging. If not, I'll grab metallic luster and put it on the edge to darken it up. So I'm just going to kind of blot over it, see if I can get a little bit in there. No, probably not. I'm kind of making it all dark, but... I want to look worn. It sure looks worn. Looks good. Okay. That's the tag. I'm going to put some black. I'll put the uh, black shimmer on there. Looks good. Can't see. It's out of focus. Now the white flowers are very, very crispy white, so I want to put a trim of crispy white on here. Perhaps above it. Just like that. I'm kind of going to build up and then poke my holes or make my holes through it. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I got this one here. Oh, I'm getting lots of little laces everywhere. This one here is going to go underneath. Oh, I love that. But I was thinking of just putting it underneath right here. I think I'm going to use it as a strip. because it looks so pretty. Doesn't that look pretty against there? So I'm going to put it like this and then I'm going to have it like this. And I'm gonna use the, this green in here. I love this green, got from Jay-Z. And I gotta decide if I'm gonna poke thing, put my nub out. Okay. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this just because I think I am. I 
I like the way that looks. So I'm just going to round that up because I don't like how unrounded it is. I'm going to glue these pieces together and I'm going to use a Maybe I'll use some tacky glue. So what do I want, just to make sure? What do I want? I want this across, this behind, and like that. I love that. And then this above. Or do I want below now? Let's try it below now, just for the heck of it. I kind of like that against the white. No. Now I had it just perfect. But I did something. I have to go back and look on my video. Uh, something like that. I had it. And the building begins. I think I'm going to glue this to this. Together, it's coming together. Here it is. Isn't it pretty? So far, so good. I'm happy with it. So I did the little front. I am going to find something, glue it down, um, a really strong glue here and glue that down. I'm very happy with the results so far. So that's, that's that one. They're all going to be different, I think. So I have no plans on, on any of them. This is just like, oh, I'm going to do this colors because I love the colors. And I might change it up a little. And yeah, I'm going to do these sides. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the back yet. But it's all going to be crazy. This is Maggie's Brave Journal book. I'm very happy with it. They're all going to have a little something like this in the front with all their names on them. I'm very happy with this. Yep. So the side, the back, I've still got to decide if I want to do the, this back here. I think I have an idea if I do want to do it. So I'm just going to show you guys the front. I'm going to leave the rest um, hidden. Um, and yeah, this is the front cover of Maggie's Brave Journal. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to craft like a duck. And have fun.